Hey beautiful people and welcome to my channel, A Classy Situation, where we discuss faith, fashion, and self-care. Today I am so excited about today's topic. I'm going to be talking about summer tote bags, um, one in particular that I recently purchased. I purchased from this brand before and I am pleased with the first bag. So I went ahead and purchased another one that actually came in my favorite color. So please stay tuned. If you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and welcome, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. If you are not new here, if you are a returning subscriber, I also want to tell you thank you uh, for sticking in there with me. I really do appreciate you supporting my channel. So we're just going to go ahead and get to it. And if you've been here before, then you know I will be looking down because I keep my notes in this book um, just in case I need to reference a color or a description or something like that so i mentioned that i purchased the bag you know in the summertime we do a lot of things we, we're going on picnics we're going to concerts outdoor concerts there are a lot of outdoor activities and sometimes you want to carry a tote now hear me out i know a lot of people are big fans of the mark jacobs canvas tote and that's cute but i'm the type of person if everybody is wearing it then i just I lose interest and I just like things that look a little different. The price of that Marc Jacobs tote, I'm sorry, it's not enough going on on the tote for me. What I do like about the tote that I purchased is that they come in a number of prints. So it's not just a plain tote with a name across it. It's, it's their printed totes. So the brand is Vince Camuto and I'm going to start with the first tote. And I'm going to give somewhat of a review and then we'll move on to the new one that I just purchased. So this is the, and there are some items in this, so just bear with me. But this is the Vince Camuto Orla Tote. I love the print of this bag. It is beautiful. Very spacious. I, mean, I love the handle. If I want to put it on my shoulder, I can do that. I just love the colors, right? It's, it's kind of a neutral and the last time i wore this honestly i was going on a photo shoot and i just threw a couple things in it like shoes my jewelry um accessories and things like that and it's just a neutral bag you can a jean some jeans and a t-shirt and some sandals um just you don't have to do too much with this bag and originally i was a little hesitant about purchasing it because i'm like i don't know if this color will look dingy or dirty over time but I've had it for a few years now, and it has really um, held its its color. Now, I do keep paper, like, stuffing for my bags. So, you will see that when I show you the dust bag that it came in. But it came with this, like, rope-like accessory on it. And then it has hardware and silver, and it says Vince Camuto. And then on the back, there is a pocket, and it's very spacious. And the print is even, like, within the bag. Uh, well, on the outside pocket anyway. Inside is very spacious. You can see I have like a little um, travel Bible or pocket Bible, whatever you want to call it. And then there's this inside pocket here. And it comes with a little Vince Camuto um, care card. Just basically telling you how to care for your bag. It's considered 100% cotton. Uh, but some people may reference this as the Vince Camuto canvas bag because that's what we're calling totes these days but anyway it's very spacious as you can see it also has a snap closure it's magnetic which i love and it's just easy to throw things in here and go now this is the first bag that i purchased and i purchased it from nordstrom online not nordstrom rack but nordstrom now every now and then you can find the Vince Camuto bags in Nordstrom Rack, and you can also find them in Dillard's. Um, but I purchased these directly from Vince Camuto. No, I said I purchased these from Nordstrom. I purchased these directly from Vince, the Vince Camuto store. I'm sorry. Um, but this first bag that I just showed you came in this dust bag. So this is normally what I keep it in, and the paper that I, and to keep the shape. It's just regular paper. I just keep it in the bag until I, you know, ready to put the bag back up. So this is the dust bag that it comes in, which I really appreciate that. 
And I recently had been eyeing the Marc Jacobs bag, but the leather one. And it's just something about brand's name on the front of a bag or logos or something all over bag. I'm just, I have something about that turns me off. So, and then the price, I just, it's not in my budget. So I was like, let me, I was just looking at other bags. Not that I need a bag, but I'm a bag girl. I love handbags, purses, and all of that. And I have been recently eyeing this bag. Now, I'm going to show y'all how this bag came. It came in a very large box, which is fine. But y'all, look at this. It came in a plastic bag. I'm, I'm a little bit confused about that. And I will be reaching out to Vince Tamudo because I need a dust bag. <laughs> I need a dust bag. Who's going to keep it in this plastic? Over time, this plastic is going to be a problem. So, anyway, I have been eyeing it, but I told myself to just keep an eye on it until the price went down. So, as you can see, she's a beauty. Now, what drew me to this bag was the color. My favorite color is purple, and I just thought this was a gorgeous bag. Gorgeous. I mean, I love the the color combination, how they mix the grays, the pinks, the whites. Um, I just love that. It's, just, it's a gorgeous bag to me. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the handle on this bag is much taller than the one on this. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can see the difference. Um, this one, is this one? It's turned over long on me. but yeah so this is this would be much more comfortable even though that one is comfortable putting on the shoulder this one would be even more comfortable on the shoulder because it's just much more space here um it also has the rope detailing with the silver this is almost like a gun smoke type of color um hard where it also says vince camuto this bag is also bigger even though they're both listed as a, the medium size on the website, this bag to me is bigger. When I put them together, and let, I don't know if I can show it on screen because I'm so close, but the purple one is wider. No, it's not going to show up on here. The purple one is wider left and right. And yeah, it, it's the same thing. It has the pocket on the back, the magnetic closure. And then it has the inside. It also has an inside pocket, but it's very spacious. It has the inside pocket and the card, the care card. And I just thought it was gorgeous. I, I love these bags because we have so much going on in Memphis. We have, and I'm sure this is every city, especially in the summertime, but <clears throat> when you're going to concerts, picnics, festivals, I don't want to carry a lot of bags, but I do want to carry something that's stylish and also functional. So if I'm going on a picnic, I want to be able to, if I choose to carry a purse, maybe a little crossbody. But if I don't carry a purse, something I can just throw my wallet in along with my snacks and my blanket. Um, or if I'm going to like an outdoor movie or Memphis has, we have like the Juneteenth Festival. And if I plan to go to the festival and purchase some items, this will be a good bag to carry because if I'm purchasing items, I don't have to worry about carrying a lot of bags. I can just kind of throw things in here. I love that the bag has held up over time. Again, it also matters how you care for the bag. Just as, I mean, I don't care how expensive something is or how good the quality is. You have to take care of it in order for it to last. And so I am very pleased. Now, they're both called the Vince Camuto Orla Tote. This print is called the Marble Oasis print. So this, this bag here is the Marble Oasis print, okay? And then the first one that I showed you, which is this one, is also the Vince Camuto Orla Tote, but it's considered the neutral multi. That's how it's labeled. That's how it's labeled. Now, I don't know if this one is still available because it's so old, but they have so many different prints. I'm going to link these bags down below. Um, 
especially the purple one because I know it's still available. And of course, I'll list some alternative options. But if you are looking for a good summer tote, lightweight, because these bags are lightweight, but they're very heavy duty, very good quality. And the care card, very simple instructions. Uh, but again, I'm going to call about that second bag, honey, because give me a dust bag give me a dust bag now the one that i just recently purchased as i mentioned before it is on sale um so i will go ahead and get that i've been seeing the ads just running so i will go ahead and get that one but if you plan on traveling because my first one that i show you i take it with me it's my carry-on i carry my little small luggage for overhead and then i carry my neutral multicolored tote just to you know slide under the seat it's just very convenient i can reach in the bag and get whatever I need and just slide it back underneath the seat. So it's perfect for travel. It's perfect for every day. It's perfect for outdoor, indoor activities, just everyday activities. Like I mentioned before, when I do have a photo shoot, I normally just, when it comes to my earrings, purses, and shoes, so accessories, I normally just throw all those items in that bag. And it has done a great job holding up over time. So if the Marc Jacobs tote, canvas tote is out of your budget and you want an alternative